Hello friends, welcome back. This is Angular Developer Series. We are building e-commerce web application and this is episode 12. In this video, I will show you how to deploy your Angular application to the Azure web app using the CI CD pipeline and we will be using DevOps as our source control and it will be easy. So without delay, come let's get started. All right, so first thing first, all what we have to know is where is the code, right? So if you go to github.com slash learn smart coding, under the repository, you have plenty of repositories here. So we are going to focus on this one, e-commerce smart card hub web app. This one is Angular 16, but basically Angular 17 also will be supported, but I'm going to take this as the code base, okay? All the necessary things has been already merged into main branch. And this video will be specifically uh, with respect to uh, episode 12. So don't worry about the code. Let's focus on steps to complete this task. So this is the code that I've opened. I will be showing you only what is required so that it will keep uh, the thing simple and easy to understand. Okay. Now, all what you have to do first thing is go to package.json. Under the package.json, I have a particular script. The script called build prod basically i'm trying to say production build okay and there is a set of uh, statement here ng build and i'm saying for the configuration take something called protection and then that's it output hashing is all don't worry about this okay even if you don't have us it's okay so configuration is production so where is this production configuration coming from that's the next thing go to angular.json under angular.json if you scroll slightly uh, from the top if you scroll slightly down under the art architect okay there's something called configuration so in this configuration the name here should match the name that you have provided in the package.json if you provide here prod which is prod there also you provide prod okay the name has to match now basically we are saying under this prod this settings law will be there if not just you can copy paste basically we're just uh you know configuring few things on the build the important thing that you need to understand is the file replacement so i have something called file replacement i'm saying hey when you build this configuration take whatever code is here replace that with the code that is placed in this file so where is these two files now so we go to environment.ts I have a bunch of adb to c configuration right so this is perfectly good when you do a ng serve which means it will take the configuration from here when you run the application locally all what i'm saying is hey uh you know don't take this configuration for the build because this is all having local host okay instead take everything that is in this up uh, in this file in this file I have all the configuration that is pointing to my protection application, even the APIs, everything, right? Similarly, in a real-time project, okay, you will have multiple files like staging, production, QA, and then uh, dev environment, all of those things, right? So they will have many files, but to keep it simple, we have only the local development and directly deployed version that we, uh, you know, claim it as production. So, that is what that configuration is. That's it. After that, the important thing that you have to do is you have to add web.config. Okay. See, this web.config is not required uh, in the sense like not for the build purpose, but web.config that we have it here. It's important because basically this web.config file talks about certain security headers for protecting the application as well as important thing when you navigate for example this is our application right so when you navigate to different navigation in local it will work but in order for you to work this one in the in the, the deployed version for example if i come here and click enter it will go to that place if i refresh it will go to that place but in order for you to work those things in the production you need to have this basically we are setting a rule we are trying to make IS understand that, hey, when this kind of URL comes, don't think that this is a file. This comes, put them back to index.html and then Angular will kick in, Angular routes will kick in, Angular nodes what to load here. 
that is what basically this file is okay i have a separate video for this uh, i'm i'm pretty sure a lot of people are using it but i wanted to mention it in this video itself so that you know what is added as part of this deployment so this is added some configuration here and configuration here other than that all of the code that is inside doesn't matter if you have your own angular application it really doesn't matter you can have your own stuff the important thing is to add these kind of configuration before we step into the ci cd pipeline no the code is ready the code has been um you know put it into the github repository great now but i'm not going to use the github record okay instead i'm going to use azure devops if you log into dev.azure.com i have logged in using my email id learn smart coding and then we probably we can have a separate video about uh, demonstrating what is this uh, source control you know uh, uh, it's a replacement uh, it's not basically a replacement so let's talk about this uh, what is this azure devops in a separate video basically this is like a uh, 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 github initially github came later because github was acquired by microsoft but this azure devops was by default it is microsoft stuff okay so i maintain all of my personal code in this uh, source control so in order to uh, do a proper demo so i have an organization under that there's a project so keep it simple for now don't worry i will i will put it in a separate video and under that i have multiple repositories if i click on repositories i have a lot of repositories right so i kept my e-commerce web application code in this repository and you can see all the codes are here okay whatever we spoke about the web config the package.json like whatever you saw that it is here now now here comes the ci cd pipeline what is ci continuous integration meaning when there is a code checked in right in a real time application when uh, people try to check in their code to the develop branch or the release branch right as part of the project development you need to build the code and keep it ready for the deployment right so that's why it's called continuous integration ci cd means continuous deployment continuous deployment means after the code is built and ready we need to deploy it to the next next environment to test okay that is what continuous deployment means so our goal is to first set up that if you click on this repository you're here and then something called pipelines click on pipelines and here a lot of pipelines are showing because it's all my pipelines right i created it so for you guys it may or may not show that's absolutely fine but click on new pipeline after you click on new pipeline we can do some classic way of doing but the easiest way of doing is using the yaml file that's the latest uh, uh, you know trend uh, or uh, easy to easy to do i would say right so i will choose azure repo github so basically my repository is here so i will choose this if the content is here we can still choose this to build the code okay that's absolutely good so i'm going to show you to here so i click on this and then it is asking me which project this project so and then i will just choose this actually you can uh, create the whole stuff from the starting but i'll explain you in a different way okay so choose this actually it will create a, a set of uh, instructions basically but see this one is not going to be useful for our angular project so instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace this with certain piece of code and explain you okay all i'm saying is trigger trigger is uh, i'm i'm telling in giving instructions to the github like the i should devops that for the pipelines basically i'm saying hey trigger this when there is a code merged to the main branch so i'm then i'm saying use this ubuntu latest uh, os as the uh, vm image okay and then there's a variable set variable is basically production because the production is a variable that we use right so production variable and then here comes the script see how do you build in your local when you download the code you will first do npm install so that all the packages are installed so we also do that npm install is the first step then we are saying npm run build prod which means npm run build prod basically we are trying to run this configuration it will run the configuration it will generate the output files after that it is uh, you know artifact name it is basically creating a folder called angular app and creating the uh, the published files that's it this is the build uh, 
what do you call this is the process to build the code okay now if i do save and then comment message see it's created a file uh basically uh it created a duplicate file because i'm using the same repository that's fine i'll clean it up later so i will do a run pipeline i can select the main branch and run it and it is running right so in few minutes the build process will be completed so you can see whatever we gave that is what has come here and based on this only it is generating the files okay because the application is so small the build will not take much time the installation alone is taking few seconds but this is every time it will happen see the build is done it is creating the artifacts as a zipped file so let's wait for a few more seconds it will be done now build is ready okay see finalize the job now we have the code that is ready to be deployed deployed means copy paste to the uh, place where uh, it has to be uh, it has to be run right now here's the thing next thing is go to release click on release and then you can create a new release pipeline so let me choose first a folder so in folder way i will create a new folder so i'll create a new folder by going here new folder and i will say i'll just create a folder like this okay under that folder i will create a new release pipeline see the moment you click on this new release pipeline okay you can actually choose this that's absolutely okay for now okay it just creates here but the important thing that we need to choose is add an artifact see the moment you click on add an artifact it will show you which project it is okay choose the project right now there's only one project and then choose the repository or the build okay so here in our case it is this one right oh, this one this is the one which we created and then it has the code and then say add okay the artifacts has been linked now now click on this task and then we don't need this task remove that click on add and then search here ftp ftp upload so the moment you choose ftp upload click on add and here is the details okay so there is a ftp connection that you can generate like if you if you choose ftp connection you can manage the ftp connection here so if i click on manage it will take you here you can you can actually create a connection here new service connection or you can also choose enter credential and where do you get the service url username password all this root folder all of those things right so basically you have to go to this place wherever your application is there so in our case the application is here and then in the sure you have something called download profile a published profile click on it it will download let's open this all right so if you open this you see this publish url ftp access is here this is the url and then let's copy this so url username is here password is here and then and then for the root folder click on this you see this you will be able to select from where the application content is coming this is the build content you can choose this and then instead of upload you need to choose slash site slash ww root under ww root only we will going to deploy it so everything looks good and then you can actually save this you can name it so you can just give a name and then can come to this pipeline and click on this one okay this is what called continuous integration so we are saying we are enabling it whenever there is a new build you know trigger a release build that is what it is okay so this is um, this is what we are saying so build is ready start the release pipeline and deploy it after that we are good save it under our app demo we saved it now we can create a release and then if the stage is not good you can actually stage a name protection okay you can name it that's absolutely fine and then if you try to create a release pipeline you can choose and do a create so you can do a create by choosing this and create the moment you create it will create the release pipeline and it will take and deploy it so for the first time alone you probably have to deploy it but every time it is having a new build it will automatically deploy it now i just wanted to show you one more thing if you go to our release pipeline and edit 
right so if you click on this right you can set up uh, you know what has to be done after or before the deployment so you can say pre-deployment approval, you can enable it, you can put your email ID so it will trigger an email so until unless you approve it, it won't deploy. All of those things you can set up here, okay? So I don't want to set up here anything now, but you can do it. And then uh, this is post-deployment. So in post-deployment also, you can actually, so in post-deployment also, you can actually trigger an email that the deployment is completed and all of those things, okay? All right, so we're good. So this is how you set up the Angular application deployment. So this is uh, a part of the e-commerce uh, web application so that anyone sees in the future as a full development stack, they'll be able to do both API and the web application. All right. All right, guys, if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Share this with your friends and uh, say bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!